Game one. Hera has a flank. Motastic is back at the action. Let's freaking go. This is the second Motastic game. Reminder that the one he previously played, he won. Motastic is not a new bro. Two legs versus two lake. Lake. Dark is playing against flank. He will have to fight a lot versus Hera for the walls. He does want them safe forward. He needs to keep this lake protected. The other lake is for Turs, who's playing Tatars. Oh, is he gonna play flaming camels flooding all over the map again? That would be nice. The other flank we have Rono. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Play all three. I don't know why. Uh... Okay, Rono is coming uh, back. He has an ego, but didn't send enough villagers earlier on. And I feel like with Mayans, you want to vil fight. You have an extra vil. You... Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't get away with these walls either. Mono's coming forward for the vil fight. More losing a villager though. Gets away with the uh, forward walls, which I think... You know what? I'm gonna slow down. And he gets the boars as well. That's actually a great start for More. And his Gujaras. Guys, when you're against Gujaras on a flank, it's always problematic for the siege elephants push with monks. And Mayans can do nothing against that. Build fighting with pocket is always great. Yeah, yeah. Pocket did invest, but he's fine. Gonna keep the lake secure. Burgundians, all good. On the other side, Hera getting away with some fantastic walls. On this side, on this side, however, Winchester from the pocket position comes forward uh, and gets up double palisade walls, and he's gonna take three boars. Out of nine, my god. No, never mind. He's not taking anything for now. Absolute zoo. Okay. Uh... All in all... Rono lost a veil. More lost a veil. It should be equal in terms of eco. However, Team Winchester is ahead. Slightly. Winchester is now going to take four boars at home with a low HP villager. God forbid, and there's a Gaia element. Yeah, I saw, I saw Jimbo. I thought that's pretty freaking good. For my homeboy. But also shame on you for dropping spoilers. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No more Gamba for the rest of the day. The output is uh, known since these are recorded games. Um... More Gorjaras, like I said before, and his pocket is Burgundian. So Gorjaras, Burgundians versus Mayans, Tatars on this side. Um, on the other side, we have Hera playing as Portuguese. His pocket is fantastic with Teutons, Albe Supplier, versus Dark Dravidians and Winchester Slavs. So Slavs versus Teutons is going to be an interesting one to see. Also, Bomber Cannons for Teutons are going to make a difference in that fight. Um, Portuguese versus Dravidians? I'm curious to see how Hera chooses to play this out. He could drop a castle. He could drop a castle and make some organ guns and then maybe fast aim, traps. 
A Major Crow, you missed an amazing set between uh, Ganji and Somero. My recommendation is to go back into the VOD or to wait for the YouTube upload to catch up with that. Very, very nice uh, set, by the way. And yeah, this is going to be pretty goddamn good. Also, yeah, I mean, this was to be expected. Mori is going to already start pushing from here. Uh, Rono is going up to the feudal age now kind of late. I think he's trying to push for a... For an FC. Might be problematic. Reminder that... There are high stakes for this uh, for this game. I think whoever loses between Hera and Vinch is out. Uh, some uh, Rage Forest expert needs to confirm this. Did my stream drop? No, what the hell is the bot pinging in Discord? That in the last minute that I'm live. What is the bot drunk? Okay. Defensive tower, but also posted in YouTube channel. Yeah, but uh, there was a video scheduled uh, the set between Hart and Nikov to go live. Pretty sure winner of this set goes through. Uh, and then I'm pretty sure the, the loser is out for good. So uh, this is what I'm saying. PD, thank you for the tier 1 sub for 6 months. I appreciate it. Dark actually managed to push this back. Nice. Good job from him. And Hera lost the initiative. Okay, okay. Dark, chill down a bit. I think Dark is overreacting a bit. What is this double stone wall? I mean, Hera is high on the stone. High on stone. Alright. Unintended. <laughs> Ooh, I like this. Rono bald moves left and right. Actually, this is more right than left, but sure. I think uh, Dark is afraid of a castle drop. And, you know, he he's doing a good job. I don't think that can uh, range that, but hey. I wouldn't mind a second tower here. He even got town watch. He now sees a uh, wood line. And he's on stone. Yeah, do it. Dark, drop it. Never mind. I think Kara's gonna drop a uh, castle. Maybe here in the middle? Maybe here on this hill? Maybe here next to the walls? You know, why not? Third layer of walls. Oh my god, dark. Okay. Okay. Good job from Monos. Professional boomer. Gilnets. In feudal age. Let's go. Monos knows what's up. Burgundy and Sopi. Just hit Castle Age well. Castle Age as well. I don't know what I said. Uh, 40c boom from Winchester and pure land boom without a siege workshop. Guys, I have the Ganji spreadsheet prepared. Dave, thank you for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. I saw me hate. One, I had your uh, stream on the second stream, uh, on the second screen, checking it left and right. I was rooting here for my homeboy. What a freaking beast. Uh, welcome, guys. I was casting Somero versus Kanji beforehand. Um, this set is still ongoing, but I started from the game one. So please, no spoilers whatsoever. 
if you guys... Hera is streaming his point of view as far as I know. I saw Mamby streaming it as well. I don't know if he's live with uh, the game or not, but I'm not so pleased. No spoilers. Big day for Romania. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, important. Vinci streaming too. Yeah. So, guys, please, if you know the outcome of the games of the set, no, uh, no spoilers, or I'm going to be upset and I'm going to ban. Yep. Yep. Um. Important set as well. The um, the winner is almost in guaranteed and the loser is for sure out basically you don't want to make me mad dave knows dave knows exactly what i'm i'm, <laughs> I'm kidding i'm kidding one team lost and one team won that that's not fun i know you think it's funny but it's it's not all right the angry german that guy knows what i'm talking about Thanks for the follow. Today, don't check the Discord things. I won't. I won't. <laughs> um. Okay, Monos has a pretty good boom. 20 minutes. Wait a minute. 20 minutes. Ganji benchmark test. No fish. 64 vils. 57 from Winchester. A bit shabby. He had to wall forward. He even had extra resources, so it's expected for him to have between 64 and 72. Hmm. He had to wall, so we're gonna... We're gonna give him that. Thurs with fish boom, minute 20. Should be above 80 pop. 96. P professional. Minute 22, he should already be at 100. And he is. Oh my god. Thurs hitting those benchmarks like it's nothing. Same, f well, Monos invested into a siege workshop, so we can't actually say for sure. Motastic, 78. Didn't do a dish. siege workshop, didn't do anything. He's behind. And his tutors, and cheaper farms. So, Motastic will have to uh, respond in the name of Ganji ben benchmarks. Rono is going up to him. He has a castle. That's uh, expected from Mayans usually to just go drop a castle, go up to him. A couple of traps, a couple of plumed archers. Hey, fire tribe. Thanks for the five months. I appreciate it. 137 bills. Well, fast imp. Copium. Maybe stupid question, but with Teutons, shouldn't farms be better? Well, they had. Uh, Teutons and Burgundians, and both of them had a lake. There can't be a situation when um, Teutons... Yeah, see, he has a couple of farms. In a situation where you have another player that 100% should dock. Like Malay, or like Italians, or like... Uh, I don't know. Japanese, exactly. Thank you. Um... Then you should absolutely give it to them. However, it's not the end of the world. Like, uh, the fact that you just have a bonus on your farms... You know, it's good enough as it is. You still have that fish advantage as well. But he should have more pop. Like, he's competing... Well, Vinch has land boom. So, if I'm, if I'm comparing Thirst and Motastic... The difference is... Quite significant. Um, Thurs already up to the Imperial Age for a while now. Motastic just clicked up. However, reminder that uh, Motastic played one single game before and uh, he won it for Team Hera, so... Let's see. Thurs is coming forward with a castle of his own. There's already a couple of traps from Rono. And what is Mori doing all this time? Mori's going up to the next stage as well. He had a couple of archers, not too much damage done. But what is his unit? I see a stable. That stable might 
Oh, he's getting the armor as well. Is this camels or Shrivamsha riders? Or what is this? It's scheduling or did he over trash talk? I don't know why Lou is not playing. I don't know. Maybe he wasn't available. Hey, Monoz is finally up to the next stage as well. Traps cutting the trees and the plume archers are in. There's a mangonel, but I don't think that can catch up with uh, these homies. They are fast. And Thurs also has the scout. The initial one can snipe that. Oh, just in time though from Monos. That was very well played. No, a couple of uh, plume archers going down to the mangonel, some of them to the castle, and they're cleaned up and the mangonel is still alive. Motastic, castle going up, uh, siege workshop as well. I think he should be already taking, yeah, making his upgrades on his way up. Pikeman upgrade is a bit late after he's already up to imp. He needs uh, more barracks, he needs onager, there it is. Hera didn't manage to break in through here, but he's booming behind. And you know what? I like this rather than just fast imp into Fatoria play. That uh, we are seeing quite often from the Portuguese players. There's an onager there! Thurs, just hit this instead of the wall. Oh, it's gonna go down though. It could have just cut. But camel riders, heavy camel in the queue. From Moe and that's gonna be great against the the mass of Kashik right now that Thurs has since he was ahead of Monos. Monos will still be a bit until Paladin. He's already up, and it's always bad news for the Burgundian player if he can't afford Paladin immediately because. Burgundian is not a great Paladin Civ to begin with. Because they like Bloodline, so by default they have weaker Paladins. But it's all about the timings with them. And Monos losing all of his food eco is not a great uh, sign. Paladins is still Paladin. Yep, if you have them. Which he doesn't because he can't afford. Okay. Uh, Winchester opening champions straight away. He knows he's against Teutons. And Motastic is still opening halves. When he's against Slavs. I don't like that. You can expect for the Kashik to triple this side. But you know already that the Kashiks are there. I like Crenellation. I like Crenellation, but Crenellation is not outranging Trebs. Crenellation is outranging Bomber Cannons. Which Dark has a couple of. Okay, so we'll give him that. Slavs don't, however. Yeah, so I would like Motastic to switch to another infantry. And I don't think Teutonic Knights is a, is a choice. So champions of his own, I think, would be a better choice. Even though I think Slavs with Ruginia are better. And he's already in Hellar's base. Hera does have a couple of uh, hand cannons. He's gonna clear this up. Hera already got us used to the HCBBC play. Very nice cleanup here. Team uh, Winchester saving most of the that siege that I honestly thought is gonna go down to Motastic's aggression. And yeah. Suddenly... Yeah. Ooh, Teutonic Knights, let's go. Yeah, we don't have the... Production. Uh, Mo was missing Siege Engineers as well, and he doesn't have SO either. I feel like... That's definitely something you, you would like. What's going on on the other side? I mean, they were pushed back from here. Uh, 
Yeah. I mean, this is kind of a stalemate for now, but it's going to be tricky when Team Hera is going to start pushing. And apparently they're switching to the other side. They're going to try to push through here. And Rono should wall all of the map. I don't I don't see how Hera survives this especially with the swing of Kashyyyk from Thurs he can clear up all of those oh no those were some nasty shots from Winchester on those but the other side might die Rono might be in big troubles here they need to wall and Rono needs to switch to Halbs, which he is. He has that in the queue. And just need to start pumping out Halberdiers. He's fighting Camels and Paladins. Like, he only needs Halbs. Well, the other side is slowly starting to, to snowball. Um, Hera lost most of his army. One second. Was that the unique tech from the uh, from Hera in the queue? That's going to make the gunpowder units more accurate. However, this is the issue: elephant archers against all of those thirty-four army from Motastic only and it's not like a strong army either he has 30 halbs the majority of his army is halberdiers and he's fighting uh, elephant archers and champions like yes there are a couple of uh, cashics but he's not even gonna get to them he needs a siege onager which he has it in the queue needs to escape okay so how the ears will absolutely hold this side Rono's not having the best time of his life yeah they're they're slightly over boomed on and in Winchester uh, but this is looking problematic for Hera I think Hera will have to evacuate soon. Crazy game. Oh, absolutely. And now Winchester is switching. And he's gonna give extra halves. They're gonna push this absolutely back. And Mone was kinda late to making units as well. Or... He wasn't late to making units. Uh, I'm sorry, that was a bad phrasing from me. He had all of those heavy camels from Gujaras. Um, he was late to a transition into HC. Like, they should have expected the flood of halberdiers earlier. I feel like. But a couple of paladins from Monos are swinging on this side as well. So, uh... This push is kind of stopped. Dark is now adding skirmishers. He is Dravidians. His skirms are attacking faster. There's so many paladins from Monos. Monos is playing great. Has 36 paladins on the field. 15 trade. They started trade early as well. Rona too far behind. Yeah. Yeah, he needs uh, he needs resources, and I think once the overboom players are going to uh, 
start floating resources, they can send him some. Oh, that's a lot of siege. Oh, and I like that Monos is actually... Not Monos, sorry. More is actually switching into elephant archers. However, they they all might die. It may, might get tricky for him to mass and... Oh, he's gonna lose all of those bomber cannons. Great job from Thurs. I think Thurs needs to start adding flaming camels and there they are, four in the queue. Guys, I'm telling you, last set that uh, Thurs played, it was just a fiesta of flaming camels. I think those are gonna be great against elephants. Vinch? Vinch wanted to make those barracks, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, they need some cannon galleons in this lake. And look at Dar getting ship rights and war galleys straight away. I think he's gonna get into galleons rather than uh, elite cannon galleons. Also, I think this needs to be moved. Munun is like, this is game number one. Like, why are you talking about Mo Loud in the interview if they win game three when I don't know the, re the other results? Or like, why are you hinting at stuff when I specifically complain about that today? They uh, need Cannon Galley and not War Galley. Well, Cannon Galleon is good against Siege units. Galleons are good against that mass of an army. GG? GG for whom? Well, actually, it might be GG for Tim Vinge. He's mind gaming you? Sure. But this shit is over, what do you mean? Motastic haven't, hasn't uh, passed 30 army. Okay, now he's at 40. I think Motastic has 40 max army. I want to see the flaming camels against the... Where are they? Okay, he's massing. He's massing. There's a cut from Vinch. Straight into the trade, by the way. And Boyar hype. Okay, well, he has literally one Boyar. Alright. Well, this stop kind of... Th this push kind of stopped. And they only have Siege and HC here. God forbid an Akro comes with 20 Kashyx. God, for, uh, God damn it, I missed the Flaming Camels. Yeah, I don't know about uh, not microing those. I feel like the Halves are melting the Elephant Archers if they get to, to touch them. Can I get a check on most starting scout? Oh, it died. Ripperino. Ruperino. Heresy from Motastic. Alright. Heresy? Uh, not heresy, sorry. Elimination. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm dumb. I was like, wait, why is he doing heresy? Who's making monk? But apparently Vinch is making a couple of monks, I guess, against the SO. And is Motastic gonna add monks? Or like, why is he getting illumination for? Or did he want to get heresy and he clicked the wrong tech? I have so many questions.
binge 20 villagers in the queue and none of them being created because he has 165 villagers. That's crazy. almost pushed this back but that's very close to the trade and finally we have elite cannon galleons in this lake Rono is asking for food poor Rono well poor Rono is back into the game fully he is at 129 eco that he needs for Vinch I think he might be switching to boyers hashtag stop Louis late no one hates Louis People trash talk Lewis all the time because that's what Lewis does. Trash talks people. So when you treat people with like in a certain way, you are going to attract the same thing back. No one is hating on him. People just like to troll him around because he's trolling people around as well. I think some people might hate Lewis. There are obviously there are exceptions. I think some people might hate everyone. Everyone has their haters. So uh yeah. This cut might be onto something. Never mind. Oh nice shots. From Hera. I wonder how many kills does he have on those Bombard Cannons. 23. Yes, Rooster. I'm going to cast ACCM Andy after I come back from dinner. So it's going to be later tonight. I have a, a, a birthday dinner. And then I'm going to come back and cast that. So in a couple of hours. What's for dinner? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to a restaurant. I don't know. I'm gonna tell you later. You need to come back to find out what was for dinner. Hey, Atomic. Yes, sir. They're actually pushing back here. Holy moly. Dinner live stream? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what the? <laughs> no. I don't know who made that pasta, but oh my god, feels weird, man. Bomber towers from Hera, and Hera is playing Champions League here. Not 200 pop, though, so chop chop. I guess he was playing Champions League B. <laughs> uh. Now Monoz has overmade trade and pills. Ah, uh, 168. He was at 175 at some point. More as well. More and Hera food. Yeah, I mean, more I think sent everything to someone. But Balian, that was one of the questions. Oh my god, look at the flaming camels. Look at them go. Oh my god, Sharon. Thanks for the 100 bits. And they're they're doing awesome. An awesome job here pushing. Uh, kills on the bomber tower, 30 already. There, but there's too many of them in the same spot, I feel like. They need traps. That's what they need. More traps. Chop, chop. Five K bits. Oh my God, Sharon. Let's go. Let's go, homie.
That's actually a worryingly large amount of money. Isn't that like $50? Rono made uh, the mighty unit. Elite Eagle Warrior. And he's just raiding left and right. Paris coming forward with a castle. It's ambitious, but I like it. There's still some gold to be taken here. Thank you, Jenosh, for the tier 1 sub to Hoyo, triggering a hype train. I see... I see those eagles doing some work. I think they're just distracting, but hey, it's working. They're pushing back on this side. And this side is not looking too pretty. The game is still very, very close. I'm going to try to fast forward just a tiny bit. Yeah, lol, I can't. <laughs> Alright. Where are the flaming camels? Oh, they're going up top. But we need them on the elephants. We need them on the elephants. Oh man, this is going to be a crazy long game. And I have one hour left. Still two more games to cast. Okay, no worries. We'll sp we're speed cast the hack of the next two. That's 15 flaming camels, and they need to go on the elephants right now. Right now. Oh my god. My God, noise, man! It's so satisfying, satisfying to see them. Oh la la! Suddenly, thirty less army. More eco, though, of course. Oh, nice job from Team Hera, though. Everyone is around one twenty-three, one thirty eco. And Vange finally deleted some eco of his own. Let's go. Is that a chakram thrower? Is that five chakram throwers? Is that the best unit in the game? Team Vinch winning. Ah, oh, can be. Maruna said this game is over, man. Where's Green Army? 62 Army. Uh, he has a couple of champions, but most of the halves are here in the middle. Uh, it's just spread all over the map. Not in the right places. He needs the Siege on just here, for sure. What is that? Elite Teutonic Knight. Oh boy. Two castles. Three. Let's go. I don't know, man. I don't think the Elite Teutonic Knight was the play here. Always love to see it. But... I don't think it was the play. He has three of them. And his queue is full of uh, halves. So I don't know exactly. No Siege Onager hurts them deeply. Okay, some shots on the LA Archers. Yes, no, maybe. Yes, no, maybe. Oh my god. Paired up with the Flaming Camels. They're just deleting everything right now. Look at the Pala dying to the Flaming Camels as well. Guys, huge set reminder, the loser is out. The winner might be in. 
I think it's still guaranteed. If Mori gets frontier guards, I could uh, check that in game. Oh, the game is lagging so bad if I'm switching in game. Uh, he has frontier guards, yes, and Kshatriya as well. Ah, true, I could just click on an elephant. Yeah, yeah, he has it, he has it. Where's the armor? Hero plus four. No worries, no worries. This looks... Where is Vinch's army? Like, he has siege onagers. We get it, you like them. Couple of champs here, okay. Couple of halbs on the other side, okay. Couple of siege onagers there, all right. All right, all right, man. Terriers and the goddamn flaming camels. There's 50 pop difference. How much trade is too much trade? And is it more or less than the 82 More has? Well, elephant archers are expensive, bro. Not like he's floating 5k gold right now. And especially if he's sending to his teammates as well. It's also good. Hera has 88. <laughs> so, uh, mm, I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> and then 89 for Monos. So, yeah. Trade alone will not gonna do it, boys. Trade alone is not gonna do it. Hand cannons are dying on this side. Which is making bills. Sometimes it just can be from the muscle memory as well. And we have a freaking boyar champion. Elephant archer. Siege elephants. Everything. How is the trade looking, by the way, as well? Oh. More with a sneaky push. B -b -b oh, there's a cut. Mayan, uh, Mayan uh, plumed archers might be one of the best units to run into the trade with. Just range units in general, like uh, elephant archers, camel archers, uh, CA, anything that basically can one shot. Uh, the trade without, you know. Well, he probably needs more than four, but hey, he's working on it. This is a very convincing push. Team Winchester has now the score lead. Score is still close. It. it might take them a while to realize all of this. Oh my god, more are coming. More are coming on. More! Let's go, chat. That's gonna be a brutality. No one flared it yet. Oh well, now let's not kill our, your, our own units now. No one's there. Also very hard to notice, by the way. Since all of your, like, you hear the attack sounds, but you don't know it's your trade. When everyone is just focused everywhere here, right? But Team Hera will soon notice that they don't have too much trade coming home. Oh my god, 142 gold per trade card as well. They're... Their trade is absolutely amazing. 149. Jesus, that's crazy. 56. 49 kills. Those are 50 
eco units or now they notice and Motastic deletes the uh, flares it and they delete the market and it's very bad very very bad their trade was amazing thank you for the correction Avalanche just <laughs> appreciate it These trade cards from Mora have 2k3 gold. Jesus Christ! <gasps> oh my god, it's amazing. These ones have 2k as well. Oh man. Those plumed arches definitely had their value. Rono Chad, absolutely. And he's like, I'm just gonna do it again. Never mind, there are camels here. Uh you need to wall okay, okay, okay. He's walling. He's he's not a noob, bro. It's not a noob. Lars would have clipped that. Count yourself lucky. You need to be a follower of the channel in order to clip things. Defeat this motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god, the soundboard ideas on the... <laughs> oh, that was so good. <laughs> oh, never mind, never mind. Moving on. Um, that's the Rage Forest uh, soundboard. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> rooster being rooster. Rooster, hardly know her. All right, all right. All right, all right. They, they walled here. They are gonna go back to the, these markets. But... Rono is here, preparing the... The siege workshops. Is this a wood game? I don't know, man. I don't know how I'm casting. This game is... Not over yet, either. And that's the thing. I don't know how I'm casting two more games. In 40 minutes, but sure. I brought back to go.
sorry, sorry, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back. How are the things looking? Hera behind in uh, army numbers. Uh, More pulling a reverse Uno here. It's still gonna be a while to to cut through all of this. And in the meantime, he's going to have to deal with all the buildings. Plums were back in the trade. Oh my god. Elephant archers too slow to chase them. And they're pushing on this other side as well. Bomber towers from Tatars. Not everyone remembers that uh, Tatars have access to them. Man, Terry is just playing out of his mind. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. It's incredible how much damage they're doing to elephants. It's crazy. Hera calls it. They just dropped too much pop and... Uh, he's under 130. Tim Winchester got this. We're getting the armor, let's go! Man, what a crazy game. What a crazy game. Guys, I'm not going to be spending too many times just blabbering between the games because um, I do have somewhere to be in one hour. So we need to speedrun two games. And I'm going to go straight into game number two. And maybe even fast forward a bit in the beginning. If there's no significant uh, veil fights, we have More facing Dark on the other side. Oh my god, what is this long tunnel? Wide tunnel between them as well. They might be playing Arabia here. This side we have Hera facing Winchester. Winchester moving on the flank, so it's Captain versus Captain. On this side. Okay. Okay, Berbers versus Bengalis. Uh, in theory, Winchester should get away with Berbers, right? His villages are moving uh, faster, but Hera getting some amazing walls up. The, that middle passage, there's a sending villagers forward to wall. I like that. Hera will have to keep those uh, walls up, and that's about it. That's Everything he needs to wall. It was it's still it's still in dark age. It's still five percent faster. It's still five percent faster. He got, he got back in. Look at this. Uh, zero eighty four, zero eighty. So there is tiny tiny bit faster. It was changed from ten percent to five percent. Nice snipe. Nice snipe from Winchester. Hera losing a will. Where position is strange. True Warrior is uh, playing in the pocket position. Uh, Thurs Persian. Dry Black Forest, by the way. No lakes inside. And I think Koreans and Persians would have liked some... Uh, some leaks. Trivials inside now. Those can be a pain. Those can also be minus three villagers from Vinch. But hey. Gotta do what you gotta do. Barracks going up from Ore. I see that scout from Dark. Dark is Malians. So Malians Vermees on this side. You need to... Wait, Omega Weeb? When did I edit that to begin with? Send me the link of it. Huh. 
I don't remember adding that to begin with. My god. War of Winchester is the villagers. They're dead? They're dead. Alright. He didn't try to get more shenanigans? Like, shoot this deer? Oh! Monos might be onto something. Minus one veil from Thurs. Let's go. If someone could tell us how many villages the pocket should have at minute 22 in the absence of legs, surely uh, the pockets should have around 80 villagers. I'm glad you asked. How is Vinch down through Vils? I guess he, he lost them here. They were uh, the ones trapped. Vasimati. Hera trapped those trivials. They were advancing. I think this... Uh, this is where it happened. Yeah, no, I'm not adding that. Someone refund this homie the points. And... I'm removing this. Okay. Dark is gonna go straight for tours. Man! They're all out for blood. For tours is blood. This is a good start for uh, Team Hera, I would say. Moore is doing a great job. They need to wall, though. They need to wall a bit more forward, I would believe. There's this walling with the TC. I like that. He needs to. For whom he even walled forward and everything, and now... Oh my god, he's being walled out. And Mona is out for blood here. Double layer of walls, houses, also walling with houses. He needs a tower or something. But obviously he doesn't want to make a tower, so then he will have to buy the stone. Oh man, that's... Oh, okay, nice trap. Nice trap in the same time. Does he just make loom and fight this off? He has loom, actually. Manchester is going to try to push on this side. Okay, time to fast forward a bit more. Uh, there's an archer range going up. Dark has an archer range of his own, but he's going forward instead of coming and trying to clear everything up I think this needs to disappear I don't think uh, I don't think you let your pocket just well not die but take so much damage thank you Charon for gifting sub to Leorio appreciate it and now Monos is here with not one but two light calves and now, after they kind of put uh, Thurs in a small paralysis, after having to get the tower up, they're gonna move to the next pocket, that's right. And Warrior just slammed down two extra TCs. And, uh, man, Mori won this game, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Mori is the MVP of, of this game. What the hell? Where does paralysis rank compared to a comb on the rage for his medical skill? I mean, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. He's up to castle now. 
gonna have to buy 200 stone if he wants to make extra TCs. He has a barracks now as well and a stable. Uh, gonna have to invest into a couple of knights as well. Just random archers and men at arms into the, op the opponent pocket minute 17. Like, there's nothing, you know? There's a castle from the dam, Motastic, and he's going to play. That's right, war wagons. There's double layer of stonewall for Winchester, however. He's still, still in uh, feudal age. Heavy on stone. Soon to click up, though. Does he have a second building? Something? A first building? There's the first. Minus one scout. Man, more absolute MVP. Look at the monos just hoovering with Lycap, trying to get a kill or two. I like that uh, there's is taking some of that um, long distance. He bought 100 stone, but he's going to have one more hundred to place another TC. Vamos. He's not a noob, bro. This, however, is looking problematic. Uh oh. Uh oh, this is not walled. This is not walled. Oh, la la. So these are houses. Way easier to go down to. And guess what? We have light cap coming from the other side, actually. Oh, there was a hole. No. Oh my god. Oh. I think it's over. I think it's over. I don't I don't see a comeback from this. Imagine if in, if now Motasi comes with a castle forward. He has almost 600... I think that's what's going to happen. In his face. In his real face. They could defeat Winchester this game. They just need to wall him out. Oh, man. Um, yeah, Warrior's got a nice boom. Even though he has a barracks up, uh, a spear, a siege workshop, two man mangonels, like, even though he did invest. Oh, more villagers are gonna go down to that. I don't know what that username is, but welcome to the chat, homie. <laughs> it's looking rough, guys. Hera's going up to him. Hera's going up to him. Now Bengalis. Wait, limp into what? Monks? Forget it. 
Maybe. Maybe monks, yeah. They don't have bomber cannons. He's not heavy on stone. He won't have a castle and traps. Dark is putting a, a castle on Mores' real gate. Yeah, no, they're just they're, they're still a stable here, by the way, for Mori. Um, I think the villagers win. So this random knights just making issues. Oh my god, he's actually losing villagers. Oh no. What the hell? Man, Mori, absolute MVP of this game. What a what a champ. Oh man, Vinch is in a, such a coma. No one in Team Winchester right now is above 100 eco. No one. I mean, maybe Dark and Winchester have 100 summed up together. I see that the power of Motasti going strong. Well, he's making up for the first game. The first game was a bit, was a bit shaky in my opinion. He's playing really, really, really well this game. And More on the other side completely won this game in my opinion. Motastic putting Vinch in a coma was just the cherry on top. I mean, this is hilarious. I, they're, they're Mores. What did More do? More killed his pocket, the other pocket, some of the other flank. I feel like he still has a stable here that was not addressed, and it still has knights here, bothering warriors eco. He still has these walls that both the uh, dark enters were forced to invest into investing and taking them out and now he has monks and his burmese and there's a cut here with a Khmer elephant and deal with this blood of knights if you can cavalry in the queue by the way ballerino thank you for the prime my homie I appreciate it. Are you Valar from uh, Rage Forest? I think you are, right? GG's yesterday, by the way. Oh, really nice games. Yeah, nice. Good to see you here. GG's. Yeah, couple of towers going up. Motastic is going up to the next inch. Supplies. All right. Is he gonna go champions? Maybe, maybe. There's a bunch of uh, pikes here already. That's uh, halberdiers, actually. And he's getting the militia upgrades. Yeah. Hey, whiskey homie. There's the band. MP to 200 eco. Well. With Bengalis, you need a lot of eco for the uh, chunky elephant archers, right? Um, he will probably start deleting soon. Man, Monod is doing such a good uh, job with the raids as well. There is being slowed down. He had to go heavy camel, or heavy camel, sorry, instead of Savar.
Bengalis can beat Kels 1v1. Yeah, and like, that's fine. That's fine. Koreans, however, can be very, very strong. Stronger than Kels. Kels have amazing siege onagers. But better towers for Koreans, bomber cannons. Everything. Yeah, everyone on Team Vinch is, is getting raided, is struggling a lot. A look at the pop 475 to 600 from Team Hera. That's crazy. No one actually has a good eco going on. I, I mean. 56 bills from Vinge. It's crazy that he's still alive in this game. This is what I'm saying, Danny. I know, I know. I'm just, you know, expanding the explanation sensor. I think you would be a great co-caster, actually. I think you would actually be a great co-caster. Danger? Okay. Okay, GG's earlier, by the way. Professional Mangonel micro microer. <laughs> yeah, I mean Dork is uh, struggling a bit. Warrior with Siege on in the queue. Warrior is playing his minds out. Uh and he Oh, he's a warrior. <laughs> Got some fun shots on those light caps, true. That was uh, one of Chrissy Boo's questions for him. Uh, Amrathin, I think, made those. Like, did you like the value you got from those light caps? Man, Warrior is playing like a champ. Bloodlines for Hera. Finally, for those, he has 32 of them already on the field. 41 trade cards, 7 more in the queue. The streamer, you need to consider this chatting and that chatting, streaming. Well, why don't you come and co cast? Ah. See, I see. Copy pasta going ham. Chatting. We need halberd ears to deal with the camels. I'm not having a stroke. I I'm legit reading the bullshit you guys are typing in chat. What do you mean I'm having a stroke? <laughs> the stroke was the one that created that message to begin with. Call the ambulance, guys, but not for me. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> never mind. You're upset now. You know what else would be an upset if Team Winchester beats Team Hera? No, the other way around, actually. God damn it, I ruined my own joke. Team <laughs> Hera is the uh, seed 15. Well, the stakes are high, Sensor. You know. You know it. Yeah, I feel like Hera and Mo kind of had like their uh, death ball. And they're starting to to take their sweet time. And, uh, well, it might be costly. Not enough. Oh, Mo is severely housed. Not enough army once again for him. I thought this was Jover. I thought so too. Oh, yeah, I mean, Vinch is 89 bills. He's, uh, he's catching uh, with Motastic. Oh, but we have Monos with the amazing battle elephants. We just need a couple more uh, onagers from the other side. 
Burmese only have onager, no so. Khmer only onager, no so. They would need Motastic to give them a couple of SOs this side, but Motastic doesn't have a SO tech. Doesn't have the eco to to switch to that, and he doesn't. He's not a player to play both sides. I think. You need a very experienced, comfortable um, SO micro. <laughs> To play both sides. Is this rigged? What do you mean rigged? Boy Dylan! Is Team Hero waiting for trade to kick in? For 80 trade to kick in, I guess. Well, I think those uh, elephant archers are contributing a ton, especially against the... They're tanky against the camel archers, right? But... Uh... Yeah, they, they need a SO from Koreans. I like the bomber cannons, but they need their own SO against the camel archers and the hubs and all of that. All of that jazz. Nice push on the other side, though, by uh, Dark. The the score is still incredibly close. Is this an amazing comeback by Team Winchester? The archers have plus 10. They win 1v1. That's why I'm saying that uh, they need... The assaults. From Korea. That can come back in a row. Can be possible, right? Right? the better seats on paper, I'll take some time, but they should win both sides. Uh, it'll take some time. Uh, well, heavy scorpions now from Monos. That's gonna do great against the uh, Gibettos. I don't think Hera should go elite battle elephants. I think that would be a crazy investment. And uh, to throw those into the halves. Man, great snipes by uh, Motastic. They're kind of pushing now. I like the, I like getting around, advancing with buildings, putting down towers, castles. They're gonna have control over this gold as well. There's some stone there, too. There's a lot of traps from here. I like this. This push is solid, and they're actually pushing on the other side as well. Where are those? Are those janitors? The elite janitors. Alright. Ready for a cleanup. Nice, nice job. I mean, I don't know if they're gonna be able to stop. I mean, siege onagers are good, yes, but 
you get one or two shots before you're being sniped by the BBC. And, well, even worse, converted to uh, Harris monks. Yeah, heresy is a must here, for sure. Castle going down. I don't think Dark can defend for much longer. Thurs? Where is Thurs playing? Thurs is expecting to cut? No, he's just coming to help, but he's coming to help with camels. Uh, I don't like the commitment to camels. I think uh, a switch into Savars should have uh, been made earlier. I don't... I don't... Yeah, they're just melting. Heresy is about to come in for Dark. I think it just kicked in for a Warrior as well, yeah. That's crucial against that many monks. Question Warily, unironically, the only good unit to make here against that many monks with no heresy from Persia. Sensor. Sensor. Didn't specify for who it would be a good unit. All right, all right. Makes sense. <laughs> What's Hera's best unit? Elite Persian War Elephant. All right. They're about to break in into warrior space here. Uh, SO in the queue for Mo Taspico. Persian monks great at converting them back, obviously. 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 I don't know, Leorio, I'm not a nat native speaker. Grammar is not my uh, strongest suit. is asking wood who can say well they're actually doing a great job at managing their rest here's could use some food warrior is floating 5k oh nice knives nice knives one celtic uh, siege auditor or actually i think it was two of them taking two Bomber cannons and they're pushing more convincingly on that side. Yeah, they're getting incredibly close to the trade. One for three, one for three, one for oh my god, warrior, what a beast! the beast game number two goes to Hera GG well played and I have probably 20 minutes left and I feel like I need to speed run the hell out of the third game
Okay. Let's go. Game three. One league versus one league. Man, not a lot of leagues this set. Rono facing More. They're going to try to get some walls up. Rono not fighting for any of that with the Aztecs. More is going to get away with the walls. On the other side, we're going to have some shenanigans between Dark and Hera. Dark getting away with some very forward walls. Good walls. He needs to protect his lake as well. Also, these lakes are amazing because you can basically get uh, uh, fishing ships all around your your dock since there's ice that you can... Ooh, that's minus one vill. That's minus one vill. However, that vill did some damage. Shot all the deer. Oh, Mono's going for the early lake here. All right. Hera will have to secure his position and wall behind all of those as well. Is Dar going to go for those three boards with an ex uh, with a low villager? He is. He has a scout there. Winchester is taking that uh, that lake. He is Japanese, but Hera has an. A sneak. A sneak. That can be very problematic. And what else he can open with if not a stable? Personally, I would have preferred an archer range, but hey, we have tower war on this side. And as someone very smart and intelligent caster called it. The Twinians are being played on the flank. Okay, time to... to... slow it down a bit. Winchester is down two bills. Those scouts are in the wood line. Third one, maybe? Hera snipe? Nope. Oof. Oof, oof, barracks going up from Lithuanians. Obviously, you do want those uh, speedy spears, but two bills down. No, just one. <gasps> this one might bite the dust. It's not gonna. It's not gonna bite the dust. Castle drop from Thurs with Spanish! Oh, Lord. Well, get conked soon. Monoz is got pocket and More is Armenian so in theory you don't want Armenian monks to deal with your uh, conks however More is behind and I think I'm gonna slow it a bit down because this might be a brutal one. I like the petard a uh, feudal age wall so only one petard necessary to break through those Maybe one more for this wall. However, these walls are going to be stopped. I'll stop for a while. The punk is doing his job. Working overtime. Oh, a lot of villagers dying to that. Homie. That's a lot of scouts from Hera. Jesus Christ. And an archer range. So. And just, just walling himself and telling... Uh, Dark, good luck. His fish might be in danger. Hera should come and try to dock this uh, lake. There's a pond. There's a galley, sorry, in the pond. But galley almost dies. Galley has 3 HP. I think he can even take it with the, with the archers. And Kongs are in. And... Oh. This might be a quick one, guys. I don't know why. I think I'm going to be in time for my dinner. Uh. More is still uh, feudal, so he only needs one Peter once again. Also, Mono's trying to put down a university and a couple of houses. Oh, they're in. 
Darren. Oh my god. Hers with the ultimate brutality here. I, I would still like a Pitar through these walls as well. Uh, in the meantime, Dark is pushing here. Okay, is that wise? Hera is up to castle. I think Hera could send his this as, you know, could send it home. Well, he didn't notice about any of this. He was not walled. Well, he was, but I guess he didn't notice they broke her here. But Dark is going to lose the spear to the TC? No, the TC is not shooting. Dark completely locked out. Maybe we'll see. No, 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 he's not. Uh, he didn't wall him. Or anything. A lot of villagers that are gonna go down though. Yeah, he's gonna lose a lot of those spears to the TCs because he was not paying attention. More is in a complete coma. Oh no. Guys, look away. Look away. Look, 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 look. Minute 22 check. There's nothing. There's no such thing at minute 22 check. Like everyone is. Actually, Motastico did not do a single thing. And does he have a lake? Yes or no? He has a stable. Ah, and scouts. So, can't fight. Monos has a, had a decent boom, but. Well. He's suffering. Had to invest in galleys and everything. There is a siege workshop now. This villager is still alive. And Harry is just gonna send those wills to fight. Just like that. This eagle is still alive from Rono. Just poking the house. And behind this, Thurs actually added 40 Cs. He's, uh, he has a very good boom. Monos had to make skirms. No! When you know you have to make skirms from the pocket, that's... It's not a good... That's not a good sign. Oh my god. Harris to see however it went down. Has Mono, Mono's, Mono's Lake alive? Well, he has uh, galleys. Galleys also. <laughs> Castle going up from Vinch. He has a decent boom. going to speed it up a bit because I think I, I need to hurry big time. So all in all, 310 pop from Team Winchester is still ahead, but that might be a lot of the scrims. Well, not... Uh, even though, I mean, there's a lot of scrims from, for Team Hera. So, in terms of equal, Team Winchester is at 320, but it's 250 for Team Hera. That's crazy. Winchester is going to put another castle here. And now Rono with another castle. A good job from More walling behind this. But Essex will go up to Imperial Age and it's going to be a ram help with the walls and the barracks okay maybe some eagle warriors i don't see the paladin player which is um monos with gods i don't think uh well actually it's after next stage as well Oh, good. Winchester is getting a samurai. Like, who the hell plays samurais, bro? What a chad. 
my god. Are these players playing, uh, you know, Hal Bonager, shenanigans, towers? Nope. Vinch is playing Samurai. Okay, I think he might be switching to something else. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We had our fun. I think uh, Pike is needed because Motastic is here with uh, Cavaliers. Cavaliers, soon to be Cavaliers, I would imagine. There's just a couple of knights for now. Uh, and Mono's opening condos says they do have Italians in their, uh, their team. Condos against Samurai? Condos against Samurai? I don't know. Not, not a big fan of that. <clears throat> Cavalry the Q from Thurs is switching into Paladins. They just need to break through here. Oh, an elite Jaguar warrior from, uh, from Rono. One second. go soon so I'm sorry if I'm just speeding this game up but this game in theory should be over in my opinion I think the team Vinchester absolutely has this uh, got into both Japanese and Aztecs yeah 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 I mean not looking too good they're just ignoring more completely he's at 52 equal Hera going in at 81 but Imp into, well, I don't know exactly what. I don't know how he can contribute. He doesn't have too many resources. But yeah, there's a couple of crapples from Motastic. He's hoping to push this back with Steer of Hazar. Now he's, uh, I saw supplied, so I'm assuming uh, he's preparing. Wait, Bracer and the armor on the range units as well? Is he gonna make CA or what? <laughs> ah, we have ladies, so from Dark, ladies are going to join the party and deal with the Scorpions and the uh, Sars. Just pushing too convincingly on the other side. I mean, Mono's trying to play both Halb and HC. That's a lot of soon-to-be paladins from Thurs and elite jaguar warriors. Now a couple of onagers. Essex do have siege onagers as well. Eagle warrior for Rono. Finally that talk did go down. There's a couple of uh, samurais on this side of the map as well. Castle versus castle. That's way more villagers for dark. This might be. Oh, never mind. This might be a doubty. This might be a doubty. No blood. Oh, he has blood lines. He's getting the armor. That one he didn't have. Paramilitary. Doesn't have resources to produce anything. Oh, that was a doubty indeed. He's gonna have traps. He's gonna trap this out. Now everything's gonna be fine. Fantastic needs to play alone. But I don't think he can he can play alone versus both people in your team. I think it's just going to be a matter of time. I don't see how Hera could come back into this game. Like there's 200 population difference right now. They are going into HC. I mean, yeah, he did play HCBBC almost every game in the tournament. Um, also did his job slowing down both the opponent attack and the pocket. But it was just... 
it's too difficult for a uh, mole to fight with Bulgarians against Japanese and Lithuanians. I would like to see a Dromons from Gods in this hunt. Two hundred pop difference already. Yeah. I mean, I again, the loser of this uh, set is out of the tournament. The winner has big chances to go into the playoffs. I don't think they're gonna give this up that easily, but. Time for badge for me. I think I'm also gonna gonna stop this even if the game is not ready. Uh, it's not over. I mean, I think I'm gonna end this. I want to check Wikipedia just to make sure that this is the expected uh, outcome. Does Wikipedia have not uh, updated or? Ah no, it's GG, well played, good luck next time. Okay guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'm sorry for ending this abruptly, but I really need to go.